No. Are you recording this story? Yes. My first job, I used to sell sell peanuts for my grandfather and orange pops. I used to carry a crate. It was about this wide and about this long. Maybe that high up. And so we would start out early, 6 o'clock in the morning. And we'd go down there to 22nd Street. No, past 22nd. We'd go to, uh, we'd go to Taylor Street, Taylor and Roosevelt. And we go down there where they sell the good corned beef meat real cheap. But we go in there and we get the uh, we get the, 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 the uh, nuts, we get the peanuts because they be they be roasted real good. And we buy the red and white striped bags, old school. This was like 1986. This was like 1989, 1988, 1988 or 89 when I used to sell when I used to sell the peanuts. Okay. And I just like to help him out. You know what I'm saying? He get the big block of ice. We chop it up. He, chop, he break it up with an ice pick. Because he didn't have no like. It, oh, yeah. He did have an automatic refrigerator at that time. But it wouldn't make a lot of ice as he wanted. So he would uh, actually do that as well. But uh, I'm trying to get the date for you, man. Uh, this was 90. Uh, let me see. 89, 93, 4, 5, 6. This was like 89. This was 1989, man. I just had these peanuts, man. So I go up there on 95th Street, 95th and Ash, and I stand on a little median strip. You had to stay on there to stay safe because you work in the traffic light. And I had my regular customers. A lot of people there come by. They might buy five bags from me. So right there, I made five dollars. You know? Oh, I, yeah. I think my bags was a dollar piece. So I made five dollars. But see, I had on my tray. My tray could hold sixty bags of peanuts. So I would sell the whole sixty bags. I had six dollars in my pocket. Go back to the car. I walk back. I walk four blocks back to the car. Pick up another sixty bags of peanuts. And I, I did this to make my grandfather proud. I go back up there and I try to sell 60 more. But I never could sell another 60. I would always come back with about 10 or 15 bags. So through the whole day, I might sell about 100 bags of peanuts. So I make them $100 right there. And then he sell orange pops and he sell coconut candy and peanut brittle. And then he make another $100. Not to mention, he was already making money. You know what I'm saying? So out of all that, man, he only paid me $8, man. Maybe seven. Not the most he could give me seven dollars. So I make him. I make him a hundred, and he give me seven dollars. And I'm the one. Yeah, I'm cooking in the sun all day. That's my story, man. That's my first job, man. The end. The end.